Moment of truth. Vegan deli slices. Does it work? Can you make your own? If you want to come with me and my friend Daniel on a vegan food tour in Thailand or Bali or both, check out the links in the description box below for more information. Spots are limited, so make sure you book now. Hi guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another cook with me video. Today, I wanna to try out a recipe from a fellow vegan YouTuber and recipe creator. I am trying out a recipe by Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. I saw this recipe for her vegan deli slices and it looked very simple and easy and also very affordable. If you guys watch my videos, you might know that I am a fan of vegan deli slices. I think they are super convenient and I like to add them into my wraps and sandwiches and things like that for a convenient source of plant-based protein. Uh, so I do buy them, you know, but they are kind of expensive. So, you know, in this economy, we gotta try to save money as much as we can. So I wanna try making Sarah's vegan deli slices. Uh, the ingredients are relatively simple and even the method seems to be simple, but I also am notorious for not being able to use gluten. Okay, I'm not very good at making things with gluten, so I will let you guys know how this goes. Let's give it a try. All right, I am putting on an apron because I don't want too much mess. Okay guys, so again, it seems to be pretty simple, but I'll let you know how it goes. So, food processor, a little bit concerning because mine is a bit small. Maybe I need to get a bigger one, but this has been working very fine for me for the last few years. So I have a food processor, and then we want to add in some tofu. We got some extra firm tofu here. We don't need to press it. Break it up into small pieces and add into the food processor. By the way, Sarah's recipe, I'll link her uh, blog post below so you guys can try it out yourself. But uh, watch this first, okay? So did I even measure this tofu? Most tofu is the same, right? A block of tofu. I am in Canada and she is in the States, so I don't know, do we measure our tofu differently? Who knows? So extra foam tofu in here and now we're gonna add liquid ingredients okay so we have here soy sauce we're gonna add that in by the way I have the oven going it's preheating already because my oven takes a long time to preheat so yeah uh, we have olive oil Ooh. we've got liquid smoke for that smoky flavor that we need in the deli slices Okay, so now we're adding in everything. So, nutritional yeast. Next, we have a mixture of different seasonings. We have salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. So we're gonna add that all in. And we also have cornstarch. So far it's fitting in, but we still have uh, the gluten to go. So let's see how this goes. And then this was actually not in her ingredients list, but I saw it in her video, which is basically like a bouillon. Okay, I'm using a better than bouillon seasoning. Uh, she uses like chicken flavored bouillon, so not actually chicken. I don't know if you need to add this, but I'm gonna add it just in case. So just a little bit of better than bouillon seasoning. I'm just using a teaspoon of that. And the rest of the ingredient measurements you can find on Sarah's blog. We're gonna process this first until smooth and then we can add the gluten part okay so so far it's fitting so let's you know after all these years I still don't know there you go ah. okay guys okay so what you want to do is you want to scrape down as needed and just kind of make sure that it is blending smoothly okay so let's do that one more time Okay, let's check on it. How does that look? <laughs> so that's the tofu portion. Okay, so now this is the potentially tricky part. We're gonna add in, is this going to fit? Let's try. So I have vital wheat gluten. This is what's going to make it firm up and kind of give it that meaty texture. Uh, and also this is uh, high in protein as well. So let's hope for the best. It might fit. I think it'll fit. <laughs> it might just be a little uh, let's try. So basically what you want to do is just let the food processor do all the work. I think there is a way you can do it by kneading it, but I am notorious for being bad at kneading, especially gluten, so I'm hoping that this will do the trick. Okay, so basically what you want to do is just keep processing it until it comes together in a firm dough, okay? And it should be firm enough to clean the sides of the bowl. So like it shouldn't stick to the container. That's what she's saying. 
Okay, guys. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Don't open it. Just let it. Okay, guys. So I think. It's come together, I'm not sure. It does look like it's kind of, you know, barely hanging on in there. It's just a little, little bit over, overflowy. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Probably, okay. I think we can kind of knead it together. It smells nice, it smells very smoky. Uh, and then I guess I just kind of, but then is it together? Like, has it come together? I don't know. Okay, I think we kind of want to knead it until it's like together. <laughs> Feels funky. Um, I don't know guys. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm just gonna shape it. So basically you shape it into the log so that we can cut it. Kind of like, you know, like a big piece of ham or something, okay? It's looking a little, you know, like brains at the moment. It's not exactly how I envisioned this would go, but you know, what are we gonna do? Uh, <laughs> so basically you wanna shape it into a log. I mean, okay. I think that's, you know, good enough, okay. <laughs> and then um, Sarah says to uh, first, wrap the seitan in a layer of parchment. So we have parchment paper. So we're gonna do a layer of parchment. Now it looks a little funky, guys. I don't know how this is gonna slice. <sighs> okay, layer of parchment, wrap. Uh, okay. And then, followed by a layer of uh, aluminum foil. There we go. Aluminum foil, wrap it up. Wrap it up, and then she says to twist the ends like a Tootsie Roll. It's been a long time since I had a Tootsie Roll. Okay, so there you go. Make sure the edges of the foil overlap each other. Yeah, I think that happened. Otherwise, the loaf might burst. Okay. <laughs> Pray for me, guys. Pray for me. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to actually make it in the oven. Sarah does give a few options. You can make it in the oven or you can do it in an Instant Pot, which I don't have, which I might get, guys. Should I get an Instant Pot? Anyway, we're gonna do 350 degrees for a total of an hour. And she says she likes to rotate the loaf by 90 degrees every 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. And then uh, we will check back in about an hour. Okay guys, so it has been an hour in the oven. Um, it's not completely cooled yet, it's still a bit warm, but um, I don't know if I should've, <sighs> here's me not reading instructions properly once again. I don't know if I should've uh, unwrapped it to let it cool, but here we go. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. It feels like, you know, kind of like a block of ham. Ooh, interesting. It smells pretty good. Now, will it cut? So the instructions do say it is better to let it kind of sit uh, in the fridge overnight to kind of let it firm up more. That might help uh, the cutting process. But let's see how it cuts now. It's still a bit warm, so keep that in mind. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. Okay, it's looking a bit dense. This is my issue always with seitan. I feel like it, uh, it's just too like, I don't wanna say spongy, but like a little bit too dense looking, but this looks, I don't know. I wanna cut it like really thinly. I don't know how she does it. Maybe I need a different knife for this. Okay, I feel like we should just try it. What do we think? Should we just try it? <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, let's keep, let's take this piece. Moment of truth, vegan deli slices. Does it work? Can you make your own? Actually really good. It's like ham. Very smoky. It has a nice chew, but it's not like off-putting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It gives that kind of processed meat sort of consistency. Um, my god, that's so good. I think because, again, because it's sliced thinly, okay, I think it like, um, 
the texture isn't as important. Maybe that's why, because I, <laughs> I can never get the right texture for seitan. And I think because we're slicing it really, really thinly, you know, and we're making deli slices, the texture is actually kind of on point uh, with what we're looking for. So, holy, it's actually really tasty. No weird flavor. Just kind of tastes like vegan ham. It's the perfect amount of saltiness. I do recommend adding in the bouillon. Um, oh, that's so good. I could just snack on this. Mm hmm. Mmm. Good job, Sarah. This is really good. Um, should we make it into a sandwich? So I just made a very quick sandwich because I wanted to try it in a sandwich. So it tastes great on its own. And how will it taste in a sandwich? Let's find out. So I didn't have that many veggies. So all I did was put in some alfalfa sprouts, my favorite, yes. Um, and usually that's what I have with vegan deli slices anyways. And I also added some uh, vegan mayo and some Dijon mustard. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Wonderful. Mmm. Guys, I just saved myself a lot of money. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's so good. Mm, it's so good. My friends, you gotta try this. It's actually very, very good. And it's very easy. It's cheap, lazy, vegan approved. Okay? It is cheap. It is lazy because all you have to do is put it in a food processor. I love that. Okay? Not much kneading involved. And then just stick it in the oven, forget about it, and it's basically ready to go. Uh, so highly, highly recommend. Guys, I'll leave Sarah's recipe blog post down below. So definitely, definitely check hers out and definitely make this, guys. It's actually really good and it's a lot healthier as well than store-bought vegan deli slices. And again, it's so much cheaper because I'm getting so much more and i um, pretty sure this whole thing is probably cheaper than buying one package of vegan deli slices. So. Definitely check out Sarah's recipe. Thank you so much to Sarah for sharing such a wonderful recipe. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go subscribe and check out Sarah's channel. And um, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if there's any other recipes you want me to try, let me know, okay? We love trying new things. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!